The wetlands around the Mississippi River Delta are vanishing quickly. Every 100 minutes, we lose a football field of land off of Sportsman's Paradise due to natural and man-made causes, including cutting off the river from its wetlands. Without sediment from the river to replenish nearby marshes, waterfowl and fish habitat are suffering. Bay Denise is a shallow bay about two miles east of the Mississippi River where Ducks Unlimited, Vanishing Paradise, and our partners are using innovative solutions to restore 2,500 acres of coastal marsh. Today we're at uh, our Bay Denise NALCA project. Uh, DU was able to secure some funding uh, to come out here and do some crevasse work. Uh, this particular area is a crevasse that we cut from kind of the main river channel out into Bay Denise to try to get more fresh water and sediment flowing out into the area to enhance wetlands, build wetlands, expand wetlands out. Mother Nature's doing a great job out here building land. We're out here trying to further enhance what's happening by getting more fresh water and sediment out to areas that need nourishment and enhancement. Well, this is a great place for waterfowl, and that's part of the reasons why we, we did this project and pursued this project. It's good freshwater habitat. All the aquatic vegetation beds that form out into these shallow water areas provide a uh, food resource for waterfowl. So yeah, we're at the mouth of the main cut that feeds Bay Denise and Quarantine Bay. Uh, during high water events, it really feeds into Bay Denise and, and drops sediment. That's the whole reason for this project is we're digging crevasses that are gonna channel that water like a diversion channel into Bay Denise to add more sediment in there and also to divert some of the waters that enters Quarantine Bay off to the side so that it can start filling in around the bank lines and start filling in uh, mud flats and, and build marsh on that end. So the contractor has a bucket dredge and what they're doing is they're tying into an elevation that we had on the plans into one of these bigger channels off of the Mississippi River. And what they're doing is they're using that bucket dredge to cut a crevasse into the shallow areas to allow some of that sediment coming from this main channel into those shallow areas to help it build up a little bit better. This is just enhancing what's already going on currently. This is roughly enhancing about 2,500 acres of prime wetland habitat down here in the, the Mississippi Delta Coast. We, we came in here and we built crevasses perpendicular to that main body of water to help the sediment slow down. And as you can see out here, it's growing like crazy. We have land as far as you can see all around us. So it's, it's really working well. It's building habitat for ducks and fish species. It's, it's just what we wanted. This is a brand new willow forest. This is, this is how the progression works. First, you get the sediment coming in. And when it gets just high enough, you start getting uh, emergence. Like uh, duck potatoes is normally the first thing that comes up. And as it grows higher and the sediment keeps going through duck potatoes and aquatic vegetation, it builds higher and higher. And when it gets so high, you start getting trees. It's a brand new willow forest right here. Look at them all. This wasn't here a few months ago. It's just like we always imagined. And now look at it. It's working. I mean, I love it. Look at this. This is what Louisiana is supposed to look like. Man, I'm happy.